Right, I'm just going to show you here how I grate the bricks. Uh, I have chosen to use um, stucco in pasta, which is normal filler, polyfiller we call it in England. Um, in retrospect, I would have done it with uh, cream tile grate. I think it would probably have been a lot better. I'm using this um, putty knife, which has got a nice curved edge and also a little flat one which I can use to put it in. So we scoop up a bit of this stuff and slap it on, pressing it into the grooves and the gaps between the bricks. Sorry about the lorry going past, couldn't help that. I didn't ask him to. Right, so just do a little bit here to show you how I press it in and scrape it off. The beauty of the curved bit is I can do inside the arches as well and uh, it follows the curve. Just finish off this little bit here. Doing it as quickly as I can, don't usually slap it on quite so casually. Don't want to waste your time or bore you to bits. I've done enough of that. So there we are. This is grouted. So there we are. Next job is to get a nice damp J cloth sort of thing the wife uses in the kitchen. That's where I nicked it from. Hope she hasn't noticed. And just give this a nice wipe over like that. Just wash that off and do it again. Comes up a little bit cleaner this time. What happens when it dries though is it tends to get go whitish again. And uh, you need to do this two or three times. So that's that bit done. Pretty quick really. Huh? So I'll show you a bit that I prepared earlier. There we are. And uh, there's a bit I've yet to do. You can see it's a lot darker there than the, uh, the bit that I've done. Probably give you some idea of just how big this viaduct is. It's got 20,000, over 20,000 bricks in it. Nine arches. There's half an arch on the end, which then zips across and joins onto here. I've just stuck a little bit of greenery in there for you. Look, isn't that pretty? And there's the arches. This part is finished, other than the top back wall there. Here I've changed from my normal styrofoam, which I've done the front with, this is styrofoam, and I've made these out of MDF. And I'm going to show you, there, there we are, MDF unpainted, and on the end there a little bit of MDF missing because these tiles are much harder to make, rounding the edges, cutting them up and uh, I got a bit fed up with it so I've got a lot more to do yet because all along the back wall here of the viaduct I've got to do all that as well. I've got to make a tunnel entrance at that far end there and I've got secret plans and clever tricks for that and along that back wall above those strips of styrofoam there's going to be a cemetery. That'll be fun found this piece of olive wood in the garden, it's too big though, make a nice tree trunk somewhere, free to a nice home, and all this is yet to be landscaped here. So, till next time, bye.